Hi, this is the Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Elex blind. Now, I uh, am trying to recover the targeting system for my drone, but I came across this house here, which seems to be full of mutants, so in fact I won't be clearing it out because mutants are still out of my league. So let me go back and try to look for the elevator that goes back up to the observatory. I don't exactly remember where it was to be honest, but uh, you know it has to be somewhere near, somewhere near the edge, obviously, near the mountainside. Hmm. Might be in the other direction after all. Hmm. Nope, it's right here. Oh, there was a large healing potion here the entire time that I have never noticed uh, when I was with Duras. So I guess, yeah, yeah, it, it's good that I came back here with the glasses because this way, as you can see, there's still a bunch of items I have overlooked, uh, you know, since uh, the first time I've been here. That's a piece of tape that I can't pick up, but it's not crucial. I have not found that many uses for a piece of tape so far, so uh, let me go back. Yeah, there are mi things I have still missed here. Uh, quite a few. A healing potion, shotgun shells, a map piece. Interesting, although that still seems to tell me nothing. Like, it's very, it would be very difficult to uh, sort of find my location on this, just based by the river body and this uh, electrical tower. So, I'm not sure what to think of that, but it is certainly interesting and potentially important. Uh, so, the remnants of my drone... Oh, it was here. I, I, I must have somehow overlooked that. U3, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. Let's see if there's anything salvageable from this drone. I can't repair this. Okay. Uh, so I can just teleport back, right? To the small camp in Adan. Uh, I'm just looking around to see um, if I have maybe, maybe overlooked something else over here. Hmm. I guess what, what might also be interesting is to climb the cliff from which I've originally fallen because uh, that's where the... This is where the intro took place? Uh, so maybe there are some things out here. Like the, rem the remnants of my actual fighter, for example. Mm, maybe, maybe some useful debris. Yeah, that, that, that's my that's my actual uh, jet. So might be some uh, you know useful piece of technology in here, some parts. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh, an Elex battery is what uh, Falk wanted, right? The, the, the cleric. So yeah, it's great that I came back here. And it's nice to see it as well, I guess. From close up. Okay, it seems there's not much else in here. Okay, I have plenty of ammunition for the laser rifle, so I might as well use it a little bit. Although, hmm, maybe I shouldn't against so easy uh, an enemy, because uh, maybe that's a bit of a waste after all. find here if anything this just goes back I guess those are Berserker clan banners. Let's, let's see if I can figure out how the jetpack attack works. Okay, so I just straight up click attack while above an enemy, you know, uh, left mouse button to attack. With everything that's going on, you forget how beautiful it really is here. Hmm. Okay, that's a lot of, that's a lot of land, I guess, hmm, I went all the way, hmm, that's interesting. That's already the converter in Adan. And this is the other side of the fence from the beginning of the game, right? Yes. Okay, so I think that's it for this location. Let me teleport to the small camp and repair my drone. Commander, this should assist you. Oh, you found something. Thank you. Oh, so it's it found it finds natural elix from time to time. I have the target acquisition module you need. Initiate repairs to your weapon system. 
Report status. Analyzing. Weapon system is now operational. Then you can follow me and we'll test it out. Come with me. You've already got someone with you. What? <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious. They had like a placeholder, a uh, regular person response for the drone. You should go to the camp and your dad. Okay. Mm, let's test the drone out in combat. Follow me. Where would I want to go now? Hmm, I guess I might try venturing into Tavar. Uh, you know, the, the land of the outlaws. Maybe I'll have some luck there. As far as questing is concerned. Hmm. I'm also kind of curious of this... Uh, Island, but I guess let's go from the from the converter. Okay, it, it did some damage, like it's difficult to ascertain how deadly was it exactly. I guess I'll have to uh, give it a couple more chances. Okay, so I'm going the wrong direction actually. Uh, well, I'm supposed to go like uh, east, so there. So it's a completely, completely different direction, in fact. I, I think if I follow the road, it should take me to the desert. transportation. Most automobiles required the creation of roadways. Inefficient. Outdated. Outbreathers are approximately 273.5% more efficient in their use of fuel and resources. Well, no. Initiating area scan. Detecting high levels of obsolence. Well, no shit that a, that a, a freaking jet uh, is more efficient more efficient as a source of transportation than a car Okay, so this does indeed go into the desert. Well, let's go. Like, mm, you know, I, I, I've kind of run out of things to do.
<laughs> okay, so the electricity from the drone uh, does damage over time. That's definitely useful to know. I will climb this, so there might be something on top of it. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, have I saved is the question. Uh, I didn't quite. Hmm. Is there a way to get up there? go from here specifically hmm. Hmm, I guess the tower is leaning to enough of a degree that I can just stand on this but I don't see any platforms up there, which seems to signify there might not be anything uh, on the top after all. Oh, come on. Okay, that's actually heaps more efficient. Okay, there is something, although it seems to just be a wi wine barrel or something insignificant like that. Mm. Yeah, 50 elected is, you know, not that impressive of a reward. something at the bottom right here as well calculating aesthetic levels aesthetic reward levels are high in this area <laughs> interesting interesting that my drone is calculated to uh, is, is uh, optimized to calculate the aesthetic reward level of certain of certain scenic locations like i wouldn't really suspect that of an alb drone because obviously the albs are supposed to be emotionless so what would they care for the view specifically
Okay, the, the drone uh, has a slow rate of fire, but in terms of damage, it's actually not half bad. Definitely not half bad. Mm, I am running out of potions though. a dam? Nope, it's a it's a residential area I think. Yep. do this. I should have had uh, this as number one. Okay, my, my drone is down. I think I'm dead actually. avoid it then. Are those mutants inside? I think so. So that's, you know, kind of that's it for the exploring of those ruins. Because there's no way I'm going to defeat a mutant, and much less like a bajillion of them.
Okay, it's, re it's really not half bad in terms of damage, the drone. The, the, the rate of fire is not great, but you know, uh, because of, because the damage is rather high, I would I would risk saying that the overall DPS is probably not the worst. Oh, I guess this this was a, like a motel or something. Waitress's journal journal number two. I'll wait until I find number one before I read them in order. It's a, it's a cleric poster, which is interesting, I guess they must have stayed here for a bit. is certainly not bad, but invincible it ain't. Okay, I'm not, not sure if retrying that is worth it in the end. Uh, I might be better off if I just flee. Uh, try to explore this, for example. And there's a teleporter as well, which I should try to remember about. easy. So let's just run into the teleporter.
if I could if I could lure them one by one, I think I could actually defeat them. The question is can I even do that? The answer is not really. It's going to heal him, right? So that's stupid. Hmm. Okay, it, it, it didn't kill. It did. It didn't heal him. It did, did heal my companion. So I guess this time, the the intricacies of the game's uh, system uh, ruled in my favor. That I managed to defeat them, even if it was very haggard, because this way I can probably clear out most of this place and I won't have to remember about going back. What do you want from me? My equipment. 
equipment like armor. Hey, watch the blade. I don't know what you're talking about. Where are the things you stole from me? Stole? Stole? Hey, just relax there, okay? We can talk everything over calmly without the need for accusations. I'll get you a drink at the fort, yeah? What do you say? Okay, so I've got some experience for finding him. Drink won't pay for the equipment and armor you stole, you asshole. Shit, shit! You're him? How did you survive? Honestly, I didn't think I was stealing. I, I thought it was salvage. I thought you were dead. they're still around could be i heard there's an alp commander moved into this area then let's get the fuck out of here you can't run from those guys they want you dead you're dead all elix to the hybrid shit is that him uh hey man you can have the elix we'll get out of here we're just here to look for this guy we've seen what we need to so we can go back to the duke no trouble yeah the duke is irrelevant all must bow to the hybrid or die. You don't want to do this. The hybrid's will shall be served. Just tell me where my armor is. Hey, hey, before you start threatening me, remember who you are and where you are. You're an Alb, an Alb commander. Your own people will want you executed, and so will all the factions if they find out who you are. So calm down and stop drawing attention to yourself. Who would believe you even if you live long enough to be believed? I want my armor back. You're going to give it to me. Yes, I got that. But you have to help me first. You see, I've got some people after me. I need some help dealing with them. Did you steal from these people too? You were a dead man. You can't steal from a dead man. And surely that's how you want me to remember it. That you're dead. You don't want people to know you're alive. Are you threatening me? No. I'm saying we could help each other. You don't need the Alps or anyone chasing you. And I need to get these guys off my back. These guys who are after you, are they the reason you left it down? Yeah. And finding you? Finding your stuff gave me the funds to clear out before they caught up with me. So I came back here into the desert. Seems we're both on the run, hey? Partners in crime? You help me, I help you. So you really think I'll forgive you and help out? Hey, wow. Losing the Elix has brought out your emotions. But think, I can help you. And I can't pay you back for that equipment if I'm dead. It's in your interest to help me out. I'm here for my armor. I don't have it. I sold it off. Sold it to who? You have to understand, it's gone. You left me to die after stealing from me. Why shouldn't I leave you to die? You're an owl, a fighter. But you don't know the world outside of Zacor like I do. I know how people think. You think I need lessons in psychology? Lessons in psychology? Just listen to yourself, man. You don't even talk like real people do. You'll get <laughs> cheated, betrayed. And that's if no one figures out who you are. I don't need you. You haven't so far. You've got lucky. You might be an expert in war, Commander, but trust me, out there, you're a beginner. You need someone with a flair for business. Someone who can sniff trouble before you hit it. Well, good. Let's assume I am buying this nonsense. Come with me into the fort. That's like the outlaws HQ here in Tavar. And when we get there? You can help me get in. 
There are some things there I have to sort out, but I'll have a lot of trouble trying to get in alone. It won't take long to get what I need. What is it you're planning to steal? Steal? That was just one time, and I thought you were dead. Look, there's some guy put a price on my head, a full contract with my name on it, and I don't know who it is or why they've done it. I mean, I'm Ray, lovable Ray. Who wants to kill Ray? Well, someone does, and I have to find out who it is before I get a bullet in my head. And you really don't know who put a price on your head? Yeah, I mean, no. That's part of what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, I'm Ray. Happy Ray. Friendly Ray. The guy you want at your campfire, Ray. There's not a crew I've worked for didn't want me back. And yet someone wants you dead. Exactly. And for what? It's not like I've stolen anything big enough to get someone this pissed with me. Present company accepted. All right. But don't make me regret it. Hey, people can say what they want about you ice blocks. But there's a heart hidden somewhere under that cold skin. Well, at least a while after you come down from Elix. Get out of here before I change my mind. I am already gone. I'll wait on you at the entrance to the fort. We are gonna do good things together. Just don't take too long, okay? Ready. Well, I don't exactly... I won't exactly promise him that I'll be quick. In fact, I'm pretty sure I won't be quick. Uh, I never am. getting through. There was complete chaos on the roads. We're turning around and taking the inland path. They're saying to stick to higher ground because of tsunamis, but it's gonna take too much time. Okay, there's clerics, uh, cleric propaganda playing on the radio. I will stop and listen to it once I find the radio itself. Cause it's a bit too quiet for my liking. I am so deeply sorry to keep you waiting. Tonight, she is beautiful. Hmm. What? The Berserkers talk of nature, but their magic relies on Elix. And we know that Elix twists the body and tears the soul. Knowledge and technology are gifts that offer us salvation. We can build our future with our own hands. This is me, Herbert, speaking the truth. Bringing a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. Laws and exile are what await you in Idan. Lawlessness, debauchery, and a lonely death are the mark of Tevar. Come to the family of Kalan. Come to Ignadon and rejoice in disciplined service from morning until night. This is me, Herbert, broadcasting from orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. Magalan, our beautiful home. Born of Kalan and a gift to all. But not all is beauty out there. Amongst the wonders lies danger. So remember, don't just carry a weapon. Train how to use it. Plan your journeys to avoid the areas inhabited by the beasts of Magalan, and find safe places to stop. After all, not all of Kalan's creatures are helpful and friendly as Herbert. This is me broadcasting from the orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. Adrenaline, drinks, and chems. They can give us a kick, a lift, a high. But they also cloud your mind, distort your spirit, and poison your body. Leave the chems behind and discover the high that faith can bring. Come to the Horde. 
Come to Ignadon and discover the truth. This is me, Herbert, broadcasting from the orbit to bring a warning to all the free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. People of Magalan, this is Herbert, broadcasting spiritual advice and handy tips to all the free people. You should know, there is a place of refuge waiting for all in the Hort in Ignadon. Stay pure of chems, pledge yourself to Kalan, and a new life awaits you in the service of Magalan. That is the word of Kalan. That is the word of Ignadon. And this is the word of Herbert, broadcasting to all the people, all the time. Greetings from the fiery heart of Magalan. As the god Kalan has protected us from the downfall until this day, so he will always stand with us during difficult times. Kalan offers salvation and protection for all those who give themselves to him. This is me, Herbert, broadcasting from the orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. To all those who are listening, follow my example and join with the forces of Ignadon. The threat from the north, the curse of the Alps must be eliminated. We must all choose sides in the battles to come. Make sure you choose the side that counts. Join the clerics today. This is Herbert coming to you from the orbit. Elix has seeped into the bones of our world and bones of our creatures, twisting them into new unnatural forms. If Elix does this to animals, can you imagine what it will do to you? Look after your DNA. Stay safe from mutations. Stay away from Elix. This is me. Herbert, broadcasting from the orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. Desperate times lead to desperate actions. But don't be fooled by the lies of Tavar. They talk of freedom, of profit, of fun, sex, good times and beer. But all that Tavar has to offer is chem addiction, exploitation and a lonely death. Only Kalan knows the way to salvation and in the Hort, this stronghold in Ignadon. He promises you food, training, protection, and a future. Join us and find yourself. This is me, Herbert, broadcasting from the orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. The berserkers talk of nature. Okay, so this started to repeat itself. Now I have to notice that it's a bit nonsensical how uh, Herbert there on the radio pointed out uh, you know the need to listen to oppressive laws as a as a downside of of the berserkers of Adam, but at the same time, uh, at the same time he was like, join us in the horde for disciplined service from dawn to dusk. Like, come on, <laughs> that, that that's a bit sort of. Uh, Hypocritical of him. Mm, scavenger hat, armor three. I think I will stay with the sunglasses actually, because I, I I can't combine the he headgear with the sunglasses, right? Yeah, yeah, the sunglasses are very useful uh, overall for finding items, so I will stay with them. Okay, let's explore the rest of the motel. I think it should be empty at this point. Ominous note, would that be Fred was here? <laughs> I wonder if I will ever uh, find Fred. But let's finish up uh, exploring the motel.
photograph, I presume. Well, I don't even presume, it definitely has to be from before um, the comet struck, but maybe those are the developers of the game, you know, Piranha Bytes. Okay, I think I will continue following the main road. Mm. But first, uh, let me read all of the notes that I found in this place. So, the Sunday Guidebook, number one. Survival story, general tips. Most outlaws have forgotten how to live in the wilderness on their own. They sit on their fat ass in the Baxter's fort and are no longer able to care for themselves. But not me. I know how to survive out there. I will write it down for anyone who has lived long enough under Baxter's control. No, who has had enough of living under Baxter's control. Rule number one, don't get, don't get lost. Rule number two, if you do get lost, don't panic. Take your shiniest, more colorful things and spread them on the ground in a large area. Uh, or hang them in a tree. If someone is looking for you, it will be easier to find you. Number three, take toilet paper with you. If you don't have any, a cloth or, uh, and water will do. Let me tell you. Uh, there is nothing worse... Uh, then dropping off, dropping one off in the desert and not having anything to clean up. Uh, number four, long clothing. Those guys and girls in the fort with their short clothes wouldn't last two days out there. You lose too much water with exposed skin. It's also really damn cold at night. Yeah, that, that, that last point is a very fair point that people often sort of don't realize about the desert. Uh, first of all, uh, that, that if you cover up in the correct way, uh, it can actually lessen 
the rate that you dehydra dehydrate at uh, because you insulate yourself from the uh, from the uh, you know mm, from the warmth uh, mm, in the same way you would do with cold mm, in another circumstances but the other thing is the amplitude of temperature in the desert is actually quite significant uh, as the uh, note says um, it often gets pretty cold in the night but I realized I haven't I've just read one book and that's it a very old journal of a woman trapped in a motel he will come he said he would come I didn't understand everything he told me on the phone just like that that I needed to wait here that's all that is important I heard a noise outside but I didn't dare go to the window to look. I will pretend that I'm not here until he comes. The door is locked. Nobody can get here without saying the password. The whole world has flipped on its head. People have gone mad with fear. I've seen people change. Part of me hopes that it will be over soon, but I don't believe it will be. He didn't say anything else, but that we're just that we're going to a safe place, a project. I try to call him, but the line is dead. He will come soon. Then this nightmare will be over. Okay, wa waitress's journal. Sandy is the son of a bitch. I am gone. Gone as soon as I have enough money. I'll find myself a better job and leave. I think I should apply to Infinite Skies. They pay a lot better. The adverts, the adverts look amazing. So even if 50% of that is bullshit, it will be better than here. I've had enough of this place and the guys... Uh, and the guys he gets into the spare room. The latest guy has lived in the back room for over a month. He's always staring at me. Doesn't he have a life? All that he, d uh, all that he does is sit at, at the same table and write in his scribbled crazy notebook. The guy probably thinks himself an artist or something. His stare is driving me crazy. He was listening to the radio today while washing, washing up. There was a man who claimed that a comet is going to destroy everything soon. His hands are shaking just at the thought of it. No, my hands are shaking just at the th thought of it. It was just a crazy guy who hacked into the radio, but he sounded so certain, so convinced. But it's just some crazy guy, right? Mm, Sandy doesn't believe the rumors. He, w he wants to leave the diner open. He's even talking about a party day. Uh, a party on the day the guy said it would hit us. A lot of people have panicked. The roads are, are jammed today. People are going in different directions looking for a safe place. Sandy takes their money and laughs at them. He thinks they're idiots. This afternoon a woman uh, who was completely hysterical showed up. She, was, she absolutely believed that we are all going to die. I know Sandy won't give me the money I need to go. He doesn't believe if the comments... Uh, he doesn't believe in this comet at all. Okay, so I guess some people did know it's coming. And just, just the, the general public, I guess, didn't. Mm. Sandy took away my journal. As if taking my words would change my mind. I'm not going to keep this, di this in the diner anymore. A man was here this evening. He could have been my grandfather. He knew a lot about the comet and infinite skies. I listened to him for a long time, until Sandy told me he'd fired me without pay. As soon as I get the money, I'm living. I don't want to die here. I asked the niece, uh, the, the nice old man, if he would take me, but he said it would be too dangerous. That made, me th that made me think I should ask more people. I can find out a way instead of just waiting. There was a sweet young guy in the diner. He sat at the window for a very long time and kept looking at the motel. He looks like he was waiting for someone. He asked me if the room next to Mr. Creepers was occupied. When he left, along with the tip, he gave me a piece of paper. Tonight at midnight, when the diner is closed, at the parking lot, this is my ticket out of here. I know it. Hmm. Hmm. Another map piece photograph that I already looked at but wait there was something else right like a scribbling uh, there was something that's called that was called a scribbling uh, 
Fred was here scribbling something, right? Hmm. Okay, am I am I going insane or what? There was something called a scribbled notebook or something like that, right? Or am I going insane? To be honest, I don't know anymore. Uh, but regardless, uh, this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save. And end it for now. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!